Hey friends, welcome back to your girl Brittany and I wanted to do a project share of some things I use um, from Coco Rosa Studio. Now I did do a video of my first project share not too long ago. I'll have that link somewhere in the video for you and I'll also link the video of my unboxing. So I had shared those projects so this today is showing what I did with the other dies. So um, as you can see on my desk, I have this cute mailer one. Oh, I love how this one came out. And then I have this little happy birthday. And then I also have the little lemon die. So before I go ahead and get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Um, I am trying to hit that 3K before the end of the year. So help your girl out, share, and make sure you tell your mama and you know. And then also give this video a big thumbs up. It helps your girl out as well. So let me go ahead and show you what I created today. So first it is using this happy birthday die. Now I'm going to be really transparent with you guys. Um, this was not what I thought it was going to be. And so I was a little bummed out. Not going to lie. And so like here is the outer piece that comes out and then you have this center piece and then this is a little banner that goes across the bottom it says best wishes on this you can't really see the best wishes very well um and then like i said this wasn't what i thought it was because you can take out like all the little center pieces and i was having so much issues because i wanted to use like glitter paper and foil paper and it was not cutting through very well so i'm not sure if it was my machine or not um and then i switched over to just regular cardstock and i was able to get this but i couldn't really save my um inner pieces but i i don't know if i'm just doing something wrong or today's just not my day with working with this die but it didn't like me and so when things start to frustrate me i just say Burp, move around and so um that is that but at least shows you like how it um cuts out but like i said it wasn't what i thought it was so i am a little bummed out but i mean i'll get over it <laughs> and so the next one is using this super cute mailer die and this actually folds up to be a lot smaller than i thought which makes it even cuter so here are a few examples so i did them in halloween type ordeal so you have this cute little bat that says creep it real and then we have boo crew and um this one here oops flipped over and i did um spooky with the wood veneers um, I'll link down below where I get these from um, over on Instagram and it has a cute little spider up there oh cute and then one thing I learned so I'm you know you guys know I'm a lazy crafter and um, I did not want to detach the little square piece and in inside of the window because I wanted to keep it that way so it would be even right well I learned that if you kept it that way you know the little pieces that holds the dies together until you break it apart it left an indentation so I was like oh slick Rick okay so I had to remove it in order to you know remove the indentation and let me see if this is one of them oh you can't really see it um very well because i have it all covered up but see like the little indentation in there so it left that and i didn't like that so um i mean granted you can cover it up but i always like to usually keep things um together so that way i you know keep it even and i know it's centered i don't have to worry about it moving around or anything like that but like i said I had to remove it. I opted not to use acetate. I really wanted to use my tool and stuff. And I just thought it was really, really cute. So I already have them pre-done with the score tape. <clears throat> but I want to show you guys how this works. First of all, Brittany, let's be smart. We are going to fold on the score lines. Now I'm going to keep them flat though because I'm actually going to be using this for a swap that I'm in. And I need to keep them flat. I'm going to go ahead and... But I want you guys to see how this comes out and how it all works, right? Alright, so I folded on all my score lines. So now I'm going to remove my double-sided tape. And so what I'm going to do is fold this over. And then here's the score here. 
I'm gonna fold this piece over and then let it attach like so. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna fold and then fold again. So what this does, it creates the little slots in between, you see that? It creates the slot so then that way you can slide your piece in. Now I probably should have slid this in before I sealed it. Um, <laughs> but like I said, I'm trying to like keep it flat. So I went ahead and I opened it back up because it was um, a, little, a little difficult. But we're gonna go ahead and fold the box up. And then I'm gonna fold it in and tuck her in i want to make sure that i am not adhering to my little um insert tabs because it should be able to come back out but if you saw me earlier i was on the struggle bus and i couldn't get this to go through you know what i mean all right and so oops so then that's that, and then you just fold the top in, and you just fold this in. And look at how the cutest little, look at how adorable that is. O-M-G. All right, so let's measure this bad boy. So she is about two and a half inches wide. About two inches. <clears throat> and um, what you might call it, length. And then she is a little bit over a half an inch tall. So you can put some cute little, or cute. I mean, you could put some cute little fun trinkets in there. You could add um, some candies. I'm pretty sure like the um, the little Hershey Nuggets. I bet you could put two of those in here. But isn't that adorable? I love it so much. Okay, so there's that one and I got one more project. And so the last one is using this lemon dye or lime, however you want to look at it. And um, so you have the little leaves, you have the wedges, you have the little one, and you have the big one. Now, I think in my unboxing video, I said that this was like made to be like a shaker. And it's actually too thin. And I mean, you could do it, but that's like super flimsy. Ain't nobody got time for that. But, um, so I didn't do a shake or anything, but I will show you guys kind of like how it all cuts off. So this is the outer ring. So I, what you would normally do to kind of create like a shadow and add dimension, you cut this out in a darker color. And then is this the same one? No, just kidding. Well, pretend, where's my big one? Here it is. So, um, you would cut this out. Like if you were to do a line, you would cut this out in a darker green and then you would put it over this one just to create that like shadow that give it a little bit more dimension and that and then um here i use this um textured cardstock by recollections you can get it from michael's i actually had it gifted to me i'm not sure if they still sell this there um i haven't really seen it and like i said i had you know a whole bunch of it gifted to me so that is what this that's what i had cut these out to add more texture to it and then we have this piece and then we have like the little wedges and then so I did like you know some limes and then I also cut out some white pieces because you know when you cut through a lemon it actually has like a little bit of an inside white border and then I have some leaves and stuff so I want to show you guys what I did with this and oh my gosh this is like my favorite project I've done in quite some time dun dun dun, dun. oh my goodness she is so cute. Ah, I love this. Okay, so first off, this is a um, charcuterie board, and or however you want to call it. Um, and I ordered them from Amazon. I think it was like twelve in a pack. It was a really good deal. And um, if you're interested in that, I'll have that link down below in the description box. Um, if I don't forget, you grow sometimes. And so I took that Dollar Tree gingham vinyl and I covered it all up and then I added some seam binding. And then here's the lemon. So here is like the little wedge piece here. So I cut it out in white and then I paper pieced the little yellow pieces inside of there. And then I also took my marker to go on the outside and then I also added some um, Nuvo um, glitter in, on the outside of it too just to make it stand out a bit more. 
and I also did the same thing up top and I also took my white gel pen and I added like the little seeds in there and then here are the big ones so this is the biggest one and then this is the little one and um I added some of the little dew drops to kind of look like you know it got wet you know chilling out in the chilling outside you know it rained that day and then I also used my um gel pen to give it a little bit more definition and then I use squeeze the day this is from the lemon twist collection by simple stories and also these little ticket pieces there and I added that on there and um, I just added some of my buttons galore and more yellow crystals added some flowers this one here is color me clay tay and these are like you know like the prima type flowers or whatever and this is great on um, this will look great like on a tear tray or just somewhere like in my, I know I'm for sure putting it in my kitchen like for uh, the summertime and but I just thought this turned out so cute I'm so in love with this look at how cute she is oh, I love it so so pretty oh look at her she's cute she's cute so um yeah that is what I created down below, I'll have the links to the products that you see in this video, as well as their website, and as well as the coupon codes. You can save 25% off your order um, if you guys are interested in that. They have deals all the time. And then go back, watch those other videos if you missed out on the other project share or you want to see in whole what I had got from them. And yeah, I just, I love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll just holler at you in the next one. Bye.